What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are starting our next opening of Savage Strike. So, a uh, funny thing was that when I was record, uh, editing this video, it occurred to me that once again, somehow I forgot to, or no, I did start the recording, but my mic must have been muted and I didn't realize it. So, uh, unfortunately, um, there, so that means there won't be no face cam, and also, you, apologize, but you have to deal with the crappy audio that my phone could capture during the opening. I believe the second part is better though, um, but I've been really enjoying these Yu-Gi-Oh openings. Uh, Savage Strikes, or our boxes specifically, have been absolutely insane. Uh, just getting such crazy pulls, um, and and this this one is no exception. So definitely stay tuned or uh, get excited for this video. Uh, and. Uh, you know, if you guys are enjoying that Yu-Gi-Oh! content, let me know. We have Infinity Chasers. We're going to be opening some of that very soon, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, yeah, so enjoy the video, guys. Alright, guys. Let's do this. Our third box of Savage Strike. And I just mentioned it, but yeah, the first two were absolutely crazy. Pulling the $100 card twice. Although, in fact, like, it was crazy the amount of duplication that we got. Uh, basically, we got all the same hit, hits when it came to the secret rares. We had the exact same secret rares on both sides of the, or on both boxes. So I didn't know that Yu-Gi-Oh had that much duplication. But um, all right, so we're going to open up uh, 12 packs of Savage Strike. See if we can't hit another one of those fantastical dragons. So, pack number one, let's do this. We got Prank Kids, Shinobi Necro, Uni Song Tuning, Time Thief Flyback, Ooh, Trickstar, Divaridis. Ooh, that's a new one. Nice. And then the World Legacy World Arc. Alright, pretty good. And uh, this card's pretty good for a common Scar Dragon. So let's see, for the ultra rare, the one we want is that Borolode Savage Dragon, which we have yet to pull. And then for the secrets, of course, the Phantasme, but also the uh, Pot of, um, it's like a Pot of Greed kind of card. Well, its name escapes me at the moment. Another Prank Kids, Salmon Grapes, Update Jammer, and Sky Striker Kana. Pulled a bunch of those. And a Dark Factory as well for the rare. And then summon over and of course we want to get that uh, Solomon great um, wolf for the rare slot that is actually a very good card all right third pack we got a neo space connector lost time sure new style swordmaster for former pile clay breaker and then the squire we pulled a bunch of these guys oh nice the incantation uh, Chalice Lime, Justica, and then Raptor, plus Nightmare. But yeah, the um, the upcoming set, Infinity Chasers, I'm really excited. It's one of those sets that uh, I think it's mixed feelings when it comes to the set that things only like five cards, but they're all foils, and you always get like a Ultra and a Secret. But obviously, that doesn't mean that all the cards scare me. It's nice. Oh. Oh okay. guys, okay guys, here we go again, that duplication times version round three, I can't believe this, so uh, the first two boxes we didn't buy from the same vendor, or actually it was, it was a single order, we bought two boxes, and then this time we bought it from a different different vendor uh, online, and we're still pulling the same cards, this is completely insane, ah, I do really like this art. Yu-Gi-Oh! probably had like the most, uh, the most dragons of like any card game, but they continue to produce really cool artwork for them. So definitely credit to them. And especially when it comes to like there's so many different uh, kind of like mech, mech dragons or like cyber dragons. So, man, they, they, the Garmin, nice again. Uh, as far as the, their artists can uh, continue to pump out these awesome looking dragons. All right, we got a next and then a deleter. So, okay, the that's our third box, guys, and then our third psychic wielder. Oh man, 
think that's like the third, the third uh, best hit in the set. So I mean, I feel I feel like we just can't lose with this set, guys. Shinobi Necro and then a Guard Dragon Agrapain. Let's see. This one's kind of hard to see. Then a Guard Dragon Shield. A Great Wolfie, Shernui's, and then Wicked. All right, we're about half the halfway mark. All right. So, um, in case anyone is actually uh, more familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh than I am, I'm definitely not by any means a pro. Let me know, like, is is this level of duplication? Uh, have you seen it before? Because definitely on the videos I've watched, like, I definitely feel like that's not the case. Um, so this is definitely very new to me. But again, I kind of just got back into it. All right, Guard Dragon Core Awakening, Sharon Nui Sword Saga. Time Thief, and then Thunderclap Monk. Right. The Regulator, Justica, and Success, and then the Knight. Right, hope everyone's having a good day. Um, so we've been doing a, a bunch of like Pokemon giveaways and like, you know, if, if some of these Yu-Gi-Oh uh, openings start gaining some traction, uh, we could probably do something for, for Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I think, ooh, nice, another one. Uh, I think one thing that'd be pretty cool, let's see, we got a Cosmo Neos. One thing that'd be pretty cool is to get some of, uh, some vintage uh, cards, uh, maybe even some like graded ones to do like some giveaways. Um, I am kind of surprised that when I kind of look at the cards that I grew up playing with, um, even when they're like first edition, like PSA 9, uh, they're actually very, very affordable. And, and one thing I do like is, you know, they keep like reprinting. There's like, I don't know how many Dark Magicians there are or Blue Eyes. Um, Guard Dragon Pispy. It's pretty cool. Um, but since they keep reprinting, you can get like really good grades. The cards that are just very nostalgic for me. Uh, that aren't really worth that much, but it would be cool to kind of start collecting some of those. And, you know, maybe we can also give some of those away. So we'll kind of see uh, how, how these Yu-Gi-Oh! videos continue to uh, how they do. And, uh, yeah, so if, if that's something you want to see, definitely hit that like button. Um, uh, share it with people that you, you feel are big fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! And we can kind of build this out over time. Valkyrie Vierte, not a very good one. And then another World Arc. Longer Wolfie. Yeah, I do feel like the, these sets, like for the super and rare flat but I guess you know you do get one every pack. Uh, you see a lot of dupe, like you basically it doesn't take long to hit all of them. So here we go, guys. I think we got two ultra rares, uh, and we already hit our secret for this side of the pack or side of the box. So um, feel like let's try to get that uh, Solomon Great Wolf for our last pack in this opening, but. Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm really excited to open that second half. Uh, this would be the third time that third time that we started a box and we opened the Psychic Wielder. And every single time, guys, the next video, oh, Brave Neo, we get that, uh, we get Phantasme. So we'll see if we can't make it three for three in the next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. So. That's it for this opening. Uh, I'm not sure about this card. Uh, I'll have to look up how kind of how, how valuable this one is or how good he is or she is. Uh, and once again, for our secret, we got that Psychic Wielder. <laughs> Pretty cool card. Uh, just kind of hard to pronounce. Um, so if you did enjoy this content, guys, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We are going to continue to do more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And we have our uh, boxes of Infinity Chasers on its way. Uh, hope to get in the next couple days. So um, there you guys have it, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.